after spending the day with a Fisk or Karma, I've been pretty impressed. So here are some of the reasons why we love this vehicle. First off is the looks. Designed by Enrique Fisker, it's absolutely stunning. He also designed the DB9 and the BMW Z8, so he's got some fantastic vehicles under his belt. This car looks like pretty much no other four-door on the road, and in comparison to the Tesla Model S, I think it's basically better in every single way. It's got 22-inch rims, look fantastic. There's not really a bad angle on this car, and it actually has a hint of BMW in the front with a signature Hidney grille. Second up, I'm actually very impressed with how this car handles in the turns. It's a big vehicle, 5,400 pounds, even though it has 403 horsepower and 959 pound-feet of torque. It's not a very fast vehicle in a straight line, but it handles confidently and does feel pretty good, so I'm impressed with the performance of this vehicle. And then it's got a dual nature to it. You take it on the highway or around town and it feels like a luxury barge. It is very huge and you can feel that when you're driving it. Everything seems far away from you, the front of the car, the rear of the car. But it is very comfortable to drive at slow speeds as well. This car has a very, very unique interior. It has some features about it that I really enjoy. For instance, when you change from drive to park to neutral, it's got these little laser beams that shoot out green lights and make this cool sound. Very, very futuristic. The tack and dash look very neat as well. On the left, you've got a speedometer that's fully digital. On the right, you've got some gauges that tell you how much you're accelerating. You've also got a fuel gauge. You've got how much electricity is left, the range, and it's even got these paddle shifters that don't shift gears, but they put it into hill mode for brake regeneration or sport mode, which engages the gas motor at all times to recharge the batteries to give you a little bit more performance. It's also got this cockpit-like vibe. You've got this big channel running through the center where all the batteries are going, so each person has their personal cockpit, which is kind of nice and luxurious. Because this is a plug-in hybrid vehicle, you can't deny that fuel economy is a big consideration. It's got 55 miles per gallon on the city and 54 on the highway, which for a car that looks this good is very, very impressive. Likely, you're gonna get lower than that if you have a lead foot, but that's what they say. Lastly, one appeal of the Fisker Karma is how unique it is because the brand no longer exists. There aren't that many of these on the road and people are a little bit afraid to buy them for service reasons. But when you see one, you get really excited. Whenever I see a Fisker Karma driving down the road and especially if they're parked at a gas station, I'm gonna ask the owner how his experience has been because you don't see them that often. And definitely if you bought one of these new, it would have been pretty interesting, uh, would be the word I would use, to buy a car, have the company go out of business, and then figure out what the hell you're going to do after that. But it's fun to have a car that most other people don't have. It makes it special, it makes it a little bit more fun. When you drive down the road and people are giving you thumbs up, it's just such a striking car. Special thanks to California Motors in San Rafael, California for making this review possible. This car is located there now for $65,000 with only 10,000 miles on it. That's a good deal, so you should check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. If you could like us on facebook.com slash vehiclevirgins, follow us on Instagram at vehiclevirgins. That would be fantastic. I look forward to seeing you next video.